What's up guys, Asian here again with another uh, theory crafting video and today we're going to be looking at actual damage shield calculations um, on the PTS right now. Uh, hold on, if you feel a sneeze coming. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, sorry. Um, so like I was saying, we're going to be looking at damage shield calculations, otherwise it's just damage calculations in general on the PTS right now. Uh, so as you guys might have already know, uh, on the PTS right now, resistances have been shifted uh, so that they affect your shields now. And so what we're going to be testing is basically kind of taking a look at how damage is actually calculated now, now that they've changed that the fact that resistances affect shields. Uh, some people think that it might be double dipping, but uh, based on what I've seen and what I've heard and what I personally have tested, it doesn't seem to be that way. So this video will hopefully uh, clear up um, any sort of false information that might be out there about how the new damage calculations work uh, in ESO. So right now what I'm doing is uh, I'm at one of the bosses uh, in Moonhunter Keep. This is the first boss in Moonhunter Keep and this is just because it gives me a controlled environment. I don't necessarily have to uh, worry about somebody else coming in and basically killing whatever mob I'm testing on. Um, so basically here is what the uh, methodology is going to be. First thing we're going to do is we're going to establish our baseline hit. So this is the base hit. Um, so in order to do that, we will have to unequip all of our armor so that way we have zero resistances. Now, we will have some spell resistance just because of a Templar passive. It's not a big deal because this boss does physical damage. And what we're going to be looking at here, if you guys can see the comment metrics uh, log here, is specifically Bloody Cleave, which is his uh, light attack, basically. So we're going to go ahead and just provoke him. Uh, I think we scrolled up a little bit. So you can see here that our Bloody Cleave is hitting us for 44.58. So that is our baseline hit. So 44.58 is our base hit. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to see how only having armor affects uh, this stuff. So... First thing we're going to do is we're just going to re-equip all of our gear again. So that way we have our full armor values. Alright, so now we have our physical resistance is 9307, which according to this is going to give us about a 14% uh, reduction overall in our uh, damage incoming. So if that is correct, then we should be seeing uh, 4458. I'm doing the math on, on the side here on my second screen. Uh, and then we should be seeing uh, about 86% of our damage. So we should be seeing a 3833 or 3834 uh, with Bloody Cleave. Remember, we are looking at Bloody Cleave. So if he does any other attacks, we're just going to be ignoring it. So let's go ahead and poke him again. So 3836, so pretty close uh, to what we would anticipate, uh, what we expected, which was again 3834. So pretty pretty much on the money there uh, when it comes to how much mitigation we're getting. Now, this value is probably going to be not entirely accurate because of the way the game itself calculates out resistances and things like that. So we don't have to worry about that. Now, one thing that I'm sure some of you guys are going to be asking is, well, what about Hardy or Ironclad? Well, I already thought of that. So I actually have no points. Uh, into Hardy, Iron, uh, Hardy, Elemental Defender, Thick Skin, or Ironclad. I have 100 points into Medium Armor Focus, and this is just so I have the additional 20% health. But since we're not wearing Medium Armor, um, or I should say we're not wearing 5 or more pieces of Medium Armor, this doesn't really affect our resistances, so that's why uh, we have this you know, appropriate amount of health here. So this is pretty accurate uh, to what you would see, um, at least for testing purposes. <laughs> Now, now that we have established that uh, with armor is working as intended on live right now, that is, our resistances are being taken into consideration. Next thing we're going to do is now we're going to have our shield. So I'm using Dampen Magic right now, which gives us a 6641 shield. So this is very, this is pretty much ideal because based on the damage that we're taking, um, if resistances affect our shields, then that means our first hit on their shield should take 3836. And our second hit will take out the remainder of the shield plus damage on our health. So this, this will allow us to see whether those two values add up to the full 3836 or if basically our resistances are being double dipped. That is, um, the hit on our health is reduced even further based on our resistances. So if resistances are only being counted once, then on our combat log we will see um, uh, hits our shield for X amount. Um, or I should say 3836 minus X, and then we should see hits you with 
this 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 space line again jailer melitis hits you with bloody cleave for um then that would be uh the remainder of that health and those two values should add up to 38 36. so let's go ahead and provoke him again Uh, so I did scroll up, so that's why I didn't really count down here. So I did accidentally re-up our shield before uh, we managed to get a second hit in. So the first hit, 38-36, so as expected, resistances are working with our shields. So remember that when we didn't have our shield, when we just had our resistances, uh, we were getting 38-36. The only thing we changed here is that we added in the shield. So it does seem like resistances are working on shields as intended. Now, the second hit takes out the remainder of our shield as well as some of our health. So it took out the remaining 2805 of our shield and then it hits us our health for 1031. So now we just add those up together and just eyeballing it right now, or actually I can do the mental math right now, it is it does add up to 3836. So what it seems like is happening is that um, resistances are only counted once, regardless of whether the hit will take out all of your shield or some of your shield. So basically what this means is, let's say you have a hit that's supposed to hit you for, let's say, 6k. You have a 3k shield, uh, that means um, it'll take out that 3k, and then it'll take out the remainder 3k from your health. Uh, it doesn't double dip into your resistances or anything like that. So, uh, based on this, we can pretty much say that uh, the formula is basically going to be your base hit uh, times whatever is has already basically gone onto your base hit. So those are things like maim, uh, protection, basically anything that is reduces damage done or reduces damage dealt. Uh, so that would also include things like our CPs, for instance. And then we're going to add on resistances on top of that. Once we have that value, it's going to be subtracted from our shield. Anything remainder is basically, uh, if basically if that value is less than our shield size, then obviously we still have shield size, we don't have to worry about our health. Now, if that value ends up being larger than our shield, what's going to happen then is it's basically going to take that, that chunk that is remainder, that is basically what's left, and take that, subtract that directly from your health. So that's kind of what it looks like. Now, there is one last thing that we have to do, and that's going to be how does blocking take this into consideration? Now, traditionally, blocking does not affect how much damage your shield takes. But, as we've seen here, there is a health part here. So, we are a Templar and we do have uh, an Adric Spear ability slotted on this bar, which means we will have, I believe it's 10% additional blocking done? Or did they, I think they took that away actually. Yeah, so, so we should have just 50% block mitigation. Uh, let's see... Yeah, so we only have 50% block mitigation now. I don't believe it is on... They didn't tack it onto any other passive, just double checking. Uh, but I don't think they tacked it onto any other passives here. This is a flame staff, so we don't have to worry about ancient knowledge or anything like that from our ice staff uh, lines at all. So we are just getting this straight 50% base reduction. So if blocking does affect the damage we take, then this 1031 should be cut in half to about 515. So let's go ahead and poke the beast again. Hold on, I just realized. I'm just gonna die, actually, I screwed that up. I forgot the block. Uh, so I don't know if my block actually counted or not. So we'll just do that again once we uh, go through the penalty. Ten second penalty, 10 seconds is a long time, okay. Okay, there we go. So let's go ahead and take a look at our comet log over here. So we can see here that we have the 3836, as expected, the 2508, and then when we are blocking, it does seem like it does reduce uh, that remainder damage down by half. So if you guys scroll up again. So this was the initial hit without blocking, and then with blocking, uh, we do see that mitigation here. So. What it seems like is happening here, and this is a damage calculation, and I will write this up down in the description below in a more formula form, so you guys can have words to put along with what I'm saying here. Basically what it looks like is, 
MAME, Hardy, Ironclad, Protection, those are all still front-loaded on the equation. So basically those all affect your base hit. Except uh, once this goes live, resistances are also going to be tacked onto that as well. So everything basically affects your base hit now. There's pretty much nothing remaining that affects everything post, uh, post shield. So once you have all of those modifiers, so maim, hardy, ironclad, resistances, whatever it is, you multiply it onto your base hit, you have your resulting hit that's directly taking out of your damage shield. And then anything that is, that is left over, if you are blocking, it'll basically take whatever's left over, cut it in half, and that's how much damage you, you are getting hit for. So let's say you are supposed to, let's say like after you, all of your modifications, everything like that, your resistances, maim, hardy, ironclad, all that stuff, you have a 20k hit on you. Uh, let's say you have a 10k shield with 20k health, and you are blocking at the same time. So a 20k hit will take out that 10k shield. If you are not blocking, that remainder 10k is going to be taken out of your health, bringing your health from 20k down to 10k. Now if you are blocking, a 20k hit will again take out that 10k of your shield. That leaves the remainder 10k. That remainder 10k is then cut in half because you are blocking, so you only take 5k instead. So instead of being left with 10k health, you are left with 15k health. This is a very simplified, uh, they're obviously never going to be that, quite that square in ESO because as obviously there are decimal places and everything like that and rounding, um, but that's pretty much as basic as I can make it be. Uh, so again, this will be down in the description below in a more mathematical formula form, so that way you guys can put words, and I'll, again, I'll use that same example down below too, so you guys also have an example to kind of look at as well. So that's pretty much it. So basically everything, all the calculations that I've been doing, uh, I've just kind of been assuming that resistances are only counted once and I've been talking with other people and that does seem to be the case. This was just a sanity check for me and I thought I'd share this results with you guys just so you guys know that yes, these damage shield calculations that I've been doing have so far played out correctly. Um, so that is it for this video. If you guys have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down in the comment section below. Hope you guys found this video informative, and I'll see you guys in the next dungeon.